Hello everyone, in this video we are going to learn how to say if in Turkish. Okay, so here we have the subject. Your sentence may have a subject or not. Then you may have a noun and a verb. And then you will have if suffix. What is if suffix? As you see, we have a conjugated suffix here. So we have like isam, isan, ise, isek, iseniz, ise, or iseler, or lar ise. This may, you know, replace each other here. And, uh, it may go like this in terms of meaning. Ban isam means if I am. San isan means if you are. O ise means if she is or if he is. Biz isek means if we are. Siz iseniz means if you are in plural form. And onlar ise means if they are. Okay, here we have an example. For example, here we have Ban Evde Isam. And we also, we may have this structure that they, um, that these two words combine with each other and they turn to evdeysam. Okay, this type is much more formal. This is much more like daily Turkish, but you may see this in uh, formal writings or speaking speakings as well. Uh, so you have to learn both of them. Ban evde isam or evde isam means if I am at home or if I be at home, for example. San işte isan or işte isan means if you are at work or if you be at work. O Aisha ise, sorry, O Aisha ise, or O Aisha ise. It means if she is Aisha. Biz markette isek, or markette isek means if we are at the market. Siz gemide iseniz or gemide iseniz means if you are on the boat. Onlar hemşire ise or onlar hemşire iseler you may have lar here or may not. Both of them are correct. So if they are nurses, hemşire means nurse. Let's go to other examples. Here we have the harmony of vowels. Uh, so I have put some words that after combination you may have you're going to have uh, the harmony of vowels. So if we have ban dışarıda isam, this isam does not change if it is separately used, but if it is combined, it is going to change in terms of vowel. Ban dışarıda isam, dışarıda isam means if I'm outside or if I be outside, Sen burada isen, 
or buradaysan means if you are here o melisa ise or melisaysa means if she is melisa biz hayatta isek hayatta means um in life it means alive hayattaysak if we are alive siz odada iseniz or odadaysan hmm. Okay, I need to correct this. I feel okay if I correct it here. There. Okay. Oda Dysonus. If you are in the room, onlar akraba ise or on uh, akrabay salar if they are relatives usually they do not use this lar or lar okay here and also i want to mention that Um, this lar or lar, they may also come here, like before the suffix as well, because like this is going to be um, in plural form. It's possible. Okay, so here we have the form uh, of using if. When we are using the verb, here we have examples. Ben gidiyor isam means if I go. Sen gitmiyor isan if you don't go. O istiyor ise if he wants. Biz kabul etmiyor isek if we do not accept. Kabul etmek means accepting. Siz geliyor iseniz, if you come, onlar bilmiyor ise, if they do not know. Okay, we may um, combine these together, then they're going to change into gidiyorsa, ben gidiyorsam, uh, sen gitmiyorsan, o gidiyorsa biz kabul ediyorsak siz geliyorsanız onlar bilmiyorlarsa next ben bildi isem if I knew, or if I happen to know, it may have this meaning as well. Sen yemedi isen, if you didn't eat. O yaptı ise, if he did. Biz güldü isek, if we laughed. Siz çalıştı iseniz, if you worked. Onlar konuştu ise, or konuştularsa, or konuştular ise, if they talk. Okay, as you see here, I have used um, the third person simple past form. And here I have used simple pass for translation. So the previous one was like for simple present, the present time, and this is for the past time.
This is for future. Ben gidecek isem means if I'm supposed to go. Sen gelecek isen if you are supposed to come. O yapacak ise if she is supposed to do. Biz gülecek isek if we are supposed to laugh. Siz çalışacak iseniz if you are supposed to work. Onlar konuşacak ise, if they are supposed to talk, or here we will have lar ise or lar sa. Next, okay. Here, as you see, um, I'm going to show you the combined form of this. So here we have the Excuse me. So here we have the thin sounds and here for we have four thick sounds for thick vowels. Let's go through the examples. Ben gidiyorsam, if I go. Sen gitmiyorsan, if you don't go. O istiyorsa, if he wants. Biz kabul etmiyorsak, if we do not accept. Siz geliyorsanız, if you come. Onlar bilmiyorsa, if you don't. If they don't know, they. If they don't know. Here. Ben gidersem. Here we have the um, geniş zaman form. And this is going to be like this. Ben gidersem. If I go. Sen gitmezsen, if you don't go, o isterse, if he wants, biz kabul edersek, biz kabul edersek, if we accept, siz gelirseniz, if you come, onlar bilirse, if they happen to know, or if they know, possibly. And this is something like simple present. But if something happens, this structure is used a lot. Okay. Ben yaparsam, if I do, sen bakarsan, if you look or notice, o yıkarsa, if he washes, Biz yaparsak, if we do, siz üzgün olursanız, if you get sad, onlar olurlarsa, or olsalar, both of them are correct, means if they become, or be there, olmak, means become, or exist, okay, so, when we are talking about olmak only with the verb ol, it may mean like being somewhere. Okay. Ben yapacaksam, if I'm supposed to do, sen yapacaksan, if you are supposed to look, o yapacaksa, if he is supposed to watch, Biz yapacaksak, if we are supposed to do, siz üzgün olacaksanız, if you are supposed to become sad, or if you are, if you are going to be sad, something like that, like going to be, supposed to be. Uh, onlar olacaklarsa, if they are supposed to be there, or they are going to be something, something. Okay, so dear everyone, 
here we are at the end of our video. Please um, do not forget to subscribe if you haven't. And do not hesitate if you are going to write some comments. And if you have any questions, please uh, write your question. I will answer you as soon as possible. If you have subscribed and uh, have not clicked on the bell yet, notice that I uh, may not upload video regularly and you need to be notified. You need to get notification about my videos. So, do not forget that practice makes perfect. Practice a lot. And I'm here to help you. Give me any suggestions that you need for other videos to be done. Thank you. Good luck.